What do you think it is? I think number one, it's to uh, put pressure on justices that maybe aren't on the fence. For instance, it, it's it's striking that there's no mention in the we don't have anything indicating uh, where the chief justice is, Chief Justice Roberts. Uh, some have said, well, he must be with the dissent. I'm, I don't tend to take that view. I mean, I don't know. Only only his office knows or maybe other other members of the court now know. But I tend to think he's going to probably find that the law in Mississippi was constitutional, but you didn't have to overturn Roe to get there. I could be wrong on that. So you don't know where he is on this. So that's that's kind of the number one thing. So it's a pressure point. Can they put pressure on justices that are either on the fence or indicated when they voted they were going one way? Uh, but now maybe put this kind of pressure on them, show these protests, which immediately ginned up. I mean, within hours of this happening, the barricades go up, the protesters come out, and I mm-hmm. understand the protesters are still out, as yep. you and I are talking about this. So yep. that's number one, put pressure on the justices. Number two, motivate the Congress to try to federalize uh, statutorily a constitutional right to abortion, which may, or not a constitutional right, a statutory right to abortion, which may mean uh, getting rid of the filibuster. They would basically take the what's called the nuclear option and end the legislative filibuster to do it. You have to have 60 votes to get legislation to the floor. There's not 60 votes on this, but would they would they get rid of the filibuster in order to do this? And if you listen to Chuck Schumer and if you listen to Bernie Sanders uh, and if you listen to the uh, Nancy Pelosi, it sounds like they might well do that. So I think the whoever did this, the the saboteur who did this is thinking also, well, yeah, I can get legislation through. They think they're a hero, I'm sure. And number three is going to be a, you know, attempt to say, okay, and it's already being discussed, of course, again, we need to stack the court. In other words, pack the court to get justices more aligned with President Biden's judicial philosophy or a left-leaning judicial philosophy, even though Justice Ginsburg, the late Justice Ginsburg said nine was a good number. But I think, look, I think the person that did this wanted all three of these things to happen. And in a sense, they are. We don't know the extent that the justice, I think it's going to backfire. I think it's going to double down on the justices. But uh, I, I think what's happened here is horrendous. Megan, I think it's an institutional insurrection inside the institution itself. The How so? Why, why do you use that word? Because they, the, 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 this was the one bastion of, of branch of government that operated with rules and regulations that everybody abided by. Whether you were on one side of the case or another, you still called the lawyer on the other side, my friend. I mean, this is just, there's a lot of tradition that goes with the Supreme Court. You start your arguments with, with Mr. Chief Justice and may it please the court. I mean, this is, there's a lot of tradition here. One of those traditions is, and the Chief Justices over the years have said this to the clerks, don't give out information. This is confidential. You are an officer of the court. You and I are officers of the court as That's lawyers. Right. That's right. So we can't do this. So this is someone inside is trying to cause basically uh, a, a delegitimization of the Supreme Court of the United States. And apparently inside the it has to be inside. There's no one outside the court that would have this that I can imagine. Mm-hmm. So, you know, I'm sure by now they probably know who it is. I they're 100 percent catching the person. I have zero doubt. The per- I was saying no yesterday doubt. to Bill Barr when he's on the show, uh, if you told me this person like they, that they chose the Supreme Court clerks from like, you know, the Bronx or Yorktown Heights, I'd be like, we're dead. Those people know how to street fight. They can cover their tracks. I used to date a guy. Um, no way would he get caught. These ivory tower little Yale graduates, they're going down. They, they may know. Well, how as, to a, as a guy born in cl- Brooklyn, I will say I'll take that as a kind of compliment. But totally. The, the that, is, my dad was look, from Brooklyn. That's the old yeah. Brooklyn. Brooklyn, though, Jay, the current Brooklyn, yeah. no, they'd get caught in two minutes. <laughs> no, I get I know it's a whole different ballgame. But here's the thing. Just think about what has happened here, that they did this. And the left is not saying anything about the horrendous nature of what took place here. They They're don't talking care. about this purported opinion, which may not even be the final opinion. Yeah, but this right. is what's happened now. Yeah. So um, I do wonder whether you see a difference between I just had a long debate with Glenn Greenwald on whether is this just a, a whistleblower? Is this a, somebody who is, you know, shining a light on a very powerful institution? And, you know, it's not nice when somebody leaks, but it's really not criminal. And maybe she's like a, or he is like a Snowden type. Or is this in its own category? Well, I think it's in its own category because this person, apparently, um, is an officer of the court if they're a lawyer or a law clerk. So they had to follow. They took an oath. 
to defend the Constitution of the United States, to follow the rules and regulations of the institution. That's and right. as an officer of the court there, to respect the court's institutions, rules, regulations, and traditions. And this person did not. And you could call them a whistleblower if you're being nice or a saboteur uh, if you're being honest. And I think they're a saboteur. Um, if this came from whatever side it came from, it's this is totally wrong. First of all, as you know, it's a deliberative process that goes on inside the court. So they voted after the oral argument in December. This opinion then evidently gets signed by whoever the presiding, the highest ranking, most senior justice. So if it was in, if, if, if John Roberts was not writing the opinion, it would have gone to Clarence Thomas. He decides he he then gives it to Justice Alito, just as Justice Alito over about a two month period writes a first draft that is circulated among the chambers. And then come May. Six weeks before the court, seven weeks before the court probably ends its term. Somebody leaks the draft of the opinion and states at the same time that, by the way, that five, four, five that five justices that are in that Alito is working with to overturn Roe are still with him on this as of this week, as of two days ago when this came out. So, look, I, I don't think you can, a whistleblower would be way too kind, uh, in my view, on what happened here. I, I would be aggravated on this. Listen, according to this opinion, my side won the case. We should be rejoicing, right? Of course, I know, number one, things change. Number two, uh, that this is an early opinion, so who knows what it's going to look like at the end. And number three, you don't do this. Are you tired of feeling like someone's always watching you on the Internet? Using incognito mode will not solve the problem either. IP Vanish VPN will. They're here to protect your right to privacy and help you stay anonymous online. IP Vanish helps you safely browse the internet without exposing your private details to third parties. You can use IP Vanish on your computers, tablets, phones, even devices like your Fire Stick when you're streaming media. When you use IP Vanish, all of your data is encrypted. IP Vanish makes you virtually invisible online. It's that simple. IP Vanish right now is offering an incredible 70% off their yearly plan. That's just for our listeners with a 30 day money back guarantee. 70% off. Who else is offering that? That is like getting nine months, almost the whole year, for free. IP Vanish, super easy to use. All you've got to do is tap one button and you are instantly protected. Take your privacy back today with the brand rated 4.6 out of 5 on Trustpilot. So go to ipvanish.com slash Megan and use that promo code M-E-G-Y-N to claim your 70% savings. ipvanish.com slash Megan. Hey, thanks so much for watching. If you like what you just saw, hit the subscribe button for more clips and full episodes.